Chibi the Podcast, presented by Just Chibi Productions. Hi there, I'm your host, Von Deer. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about the Cheesemonger Invitational. Monger? We learn some cheesy definitions, lover, Me. maker, Monger? and seller. Monger. We're going to talk about National Cheese Doodle Day. <laughs> cheese Doodle. We're going to cover some cheese news, and of course, a very cheesy joke. I love a joke. Get ready for episode number 16 of Just Cheesy, the podcast. So cheesy. This week there is a big contest going on out in San Francisco. I thought we already had the Super Bowl. Wrong contest. This is the Cheesemonger Invitational. Uh, what's a cheesemonger? Well, first we might want to find out what a monger is. I've heard of lots of mongers, like fear mongers, war mongers. According to Merriam Webster again, the word monger means. Wait, I got hype monger, gossip monger, cheesy. hate monger, scare monger, che- sleaze cheesy. monger. Che- cheesy. Rumor According to lotsofwords.com, they claim that there are over 80 words that end in monger, which you've clearly tried to demonstrate here. What does this have to do with cheese? In the cases that you've described, monger actually means a person who attempts to stir up or spread something that is usually petty or discreditable. The other definition is what we're talking about. So a cheesemonger or a monger is someone who is a dealer or trader in a specified commodity. Uh- Ah, okay. I gotta be honest, Cheesy, I was today years old when I figured out what a monger was. Yeah, right? I kind of liken it to the word smith. It's also a suffix, and it means a person skilled in creating something. So a blacksmith was someone that worked in metal, or a goldsmith works with gold. Well, we have a cheesemonger, and that's a person who sells cheese. Wow. And by the way, I went down the rabbit hole. There are fishmongers, ironmongers, haymongers, fellmongers, which were animal skins. Fondue. Coastermongers, which were fruits and vegetables. Fondue. And hay mongers and book mongers. Sorry, it was easy to get sidetracked. There's so many mongers. Yeah, I know. This whole thing about cheesemonger got me thinking. If there's a special word for a seller of cheese, what do we call a cheese lover? Hungry? No, we call them turophiles. And this word was coined around 1938, and it means it's from the Greek tyros, which was cheese, and the English file, which was lover. So turophile is a cheese lover. I'm a hundred percent turophile. But there's other cheese terms I didn't know. So first I thought cheesemaker, and apparently they call them cheesemakers. Hmm, creative. And there's a French term I am going to butcher. It is called a fromagère. Oh, wow. And this seems to mean maker and seller. And there's also another French term, affinia. Oh. And from what I could tell, this is a person who helps to age or or raise or mature the cheese and then they sell it as well. Who knew? So going back to the Cheesemonger Invitational where we started. Oh yeah, I forgot. According to cheesemongerinvitational.com, they take the best cheesemongers from around the country and they put them through a competition. It showcases their technical skills, encyclopedic knowledge, and passionate salesmanship. Wow. They put the competitors through what I consider to be a pretty grueling competition. The first 10 challenges are to qualify the competitors for public competition. So these these first 10 are closed to the public. So what are the 10? Okay, according to the website, it says challenge one is a written test. They have 20 minutes to answer. It's all multiple choice. It focuses on details of cheesemongering, such as cheese making, affinage, and the art of counter service. 20 minute test. Challenge two is the taste test. Yum. They have 20 minutes to correctly identify the name, the country of origin, the milk treatment, and the milk type of five different cheeses. Holy cow. Challenge three, aroma test. Challenge four sounds like a doozy. It's the cut test. They have 45 seconds to weigh a random alpine wedge once before producing two quarter pound cut. Wow. It looks like they only allow a tenth of a pound deviation too. Wow. Challenge five is paper wrapper. They get 45 seconds to wrap that quarter pound of cheese. Challenge six is plastic wrap. They get 45 seconds to wrap in plastic a half wheel and a quarter wheel of a 15 pound alpine cheese. Wow. Challenge seven is salesmanship. They get two minutes to evaluate a fake shop and then three minutes to engage in selling with their judge. Okay. Challenge eight, perfect beverage. They get 15 minutes to prepare for service the beverage of their choosing paired with a pre assigned cheese. Holy cow. Challenge nine, perfect slate. They have 30 minutes to prepare a cheese board. And this actually features that same pre assigned cheese and anything else that they 
they desire. And finally, number 10, Perfect Bite. They have 90 minutes to create 100 a bite hundred. sized portions of their pre assigned cheese with pairing items of their choice. That sounds so hard. Now, wait, there's more. There's still five more challenges because once they pass those 10, they pick six finalists who compete publicly for the rest of this competition. Okay, give them to me. Challenge 11, mic control. They have 60 seconds to introduce themselves. Okay. Challenge 12, trivia. They have six questions to answer on stage. Okay. Challenge 13 is parrot. They have one minute to detail their ideal pairing for select Goose Island beer. Yum. Challenge 14, cut it. Mm, this cut one it. sounds terrible. They have one minute to produce as many perfect quarter pound cuts as possible. Wow. And points are only awarded for perfect cuts. Wow. Last but not least, challenge 15, wrap it. They have one minute to wrap a selection of five assorted small format cheeses in cheese paper. Holy cow. Cheesemonger Invitational. Not a sponsor, but if they were, their ad would go right here. Time for my favorite segment. This week in cheese. Do you know what holiday we missed yesterday? National Cheese Doodle Day. That's right, Cheesy. National Cheese Doodle Day. According to the website nationaltoday.com, it looks like cheese doodles were an accident. An accident? It looks like cheese doodles actually have multiple origin stories, but the most accepted one is about a man named Maury Yohai. He was the president of his father's company, Old London Foods, and that was based in the Bronx. Apparently, they were trying to create a cornmeal-based animal feed. Ew, animal feed? Yep. In 1948, their machines accidentally processed the cornmeal under high pressure, and it resulted in a tubular shape. They took the shapes and tried to add some flavorings, and they baked it with different cheese flavorings until they got the right mixture. But Cheetos, the other snack brand, gained national distribution, and they had a bigger appeal in the market, so they kind of took over. Ah, uh, poor Maury. He had quite a career. He was the president of Old London Foods, and they got bought out by Borden. They also made Cracker Jacks, and it looks like one of his responsibilities involved making decisions as to which toys would be included as the prizes in the packages of Cracker Jacks. He had a photograph of Julia Child eating straight from a bag of cheese doodles. In 2004, he attended a museum depicting several life-size figures covered in cheese doodles where his wife told everybody that he invented the product. So he had quite the career. He taught at the New York Institute of Technology. He wrote two books and 500 poems. Way to go, Maury. Joe Bangles, one of Twitter's favorite cheese lovers, is actually teaming up with cryptocurrency Stilton Musk to send cheese into space for charity. Really? They're doing this to raise awareness of the global problems over access to food. Go cheese. Are you ready for a joke, Cheesy? Of course I am. What did the cheese say to their hot date? I have no idea. You make me melt. <laughs> that was almost funny. And a little bit... Cheesy. Thanks for joining us at Just Cheesy, the podcast. We appreciate all of you cheese balls. We do. Join us next week for episode number 17. Stay cheesy, everybody.